All right, so here's our question. This is the kind of question I might ask you as, as a giveaway question on the exam. What kind of motion is this? Is it, is it what? Yeah, what is, so the question on the exam is what kind of motion is this? And there's your picture. If we were doing PRS, I'd have you do PRS right now. I like the idea of PRS, I just hate the software and I really hate the idea that you guys have to spend 50 or 60 or 90 or whatever it costs now for that little clicker. Is it B? How, uh, why are you choosing B? So we're going to do the idea of PRS without all the nonsense. So this, whatever it, this is, is starting off slow. Ah, yeah. We see the distance increasing, right? So the thing is speeding up. Accelerate the, if this was a ball being dropped, acceleration is constant, therefore it would be constant. But what is acceleration? Now, what is acceleration? So what's its initial speed when I drop a ball? Zero, right? And then it speeds up as it goes down. So what is the speeding up called? I can't hear you. Mass times acceleration gives me speed. There's a famous equation that does involve what you just said. Force, which is gravity, right? So back to your thing. What is acceleration? We don't know quite yet. Right in that you, the girl. Change in velocity, right? It's a change in the speed. So it may so what if it's a change in speed, how could we show that this is from constant acceleration? What should we see different if it wasn't constant acceleration? So we're seeing an increase in speed, and we're comfortable with the idea if I drop a ball, it does speed up, right? Does a ball speed up as it falls? Now, in the real world, what ends up happening? I just heard the term. Who's saying that? Speak loud. Terminal velocity. What the world is that? You're right. What is it? You guys speak loud enough for at least me to hear. After a while, it reaches a maximum speed and stays there. Why is it that, you know, like skydivers hit terminal velocity? Friction from the air. The air does that. Speeds up. Now, our first one, our second simplification in, in we're, when you set foot in this room on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you're going to walk into a place called physics land. Okay, this is a fantasy place. This is a place where no air exists unless I tell you it exists. So we have no air in our world in physics land. And I can tell you from minute to minute whether we have air or not. In our world right now, we have no air. Without air, will we reach a terminal velocity? No terminal velocity with air. If we have air, then I have some other forces at play and I can reach a terminal velocity. So this ball was dropped off. Well, this object is in physics land, no air. So its speed is increasing. Back to your thing. Constant acceleration. What does that really mean? What, will ha what, how, what, do I, what does that tell me about the speed increase? Speak loud. It keeps increasing at the same rate, which means what? You're 100% right. Yeah. It's, it does speed up more and more. Yeah, you. So something is, what is that something? Gravity. Okay, but accelerating at the same rate, what does that mean? Let's get a little. No, that's, that's a changing. Exponential is actually changing. Acceleration is constant, same rate. I'm four years old. I still don't understand you. Everything you guys are saying is right, but I don't understand you. 
ends up faster than it started. What does same rate mean? The number that is associated with that rate stays the same. So let's, let's use 10 for an easy number. So if the acceleration due to gravity is 10, the first second, what's the initial velocity of the ball? It's zero, right? If acceleration it is, is 10 per second, I drop the ball after one second, how fast is it going? 10. After two seconds, how fast is it going? 20, right? After three seconds, how fast is it going? 30. So the constant rate tells me that the increase will be this number 10 after each given interval of time. Does that make sense? So how does that translate into our picture? Does that make sense? Let's step back. Does, does this idea of this constant acceleration doesn't necessarily mean that the speed will be the same. It, the speed increases, but the amount of increase will be the same for each second. So it goes from 0 to 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 to 60. How will that translate into a picture then? Will I see the same increase in distance? Constant slope on a graph. But in this picture, I'm going to, it'll, it'll double, not quite double, but it'll go like from 10 to 20. So that one will double. Then it's to 30. So now in that same length of time, I'm going to travel 30. Then I'm going to travel 40. Then I'm going to travel 50. So that increase in distance will be also proportional to what that rate in change was, that the change in speed. So what is this one doing? Back to this question. A dust particle settling to the floor. How can that, what would be wrong with that one? That's the key word right there, add constant speed. I should see constant speed means the distance traveled in each interval is the same. And what would be the acceleration of a dust particle settling? At constant speed. Constant speed tells me the acceleration is, I heard it already, zero. There is no change. Constant means there was no change in speed. Constant speed. So there will be key phrases like this in, in problems that will tell you numbers without telling you the number. C, a descending rocket slowing to make a soft landing on Mars. How can I make this picture that? In red. Flip it upside down, right? Flip it upside down. If I have one, two, three, four, five, I guess zero, whatever, then that would be the, the, the picture. So B is the answer.